Hey guys, Travis here today. So today we're going to be taking a look at really fast, like how to learn how to pronounce the Japanese vowels for hiragana, katakana, kanji, and just about anywhere else. Okay, so when you learn Japanese, if you know English, it's pretty much a step forward. You pretty much already know the same thing. You just got to kind of get familiar with how they do it in Japanese. Uh, just to make a long story short, all vowels have one uh, reading, and if you see a consonant or a consonant, how do you pronounce that? It's um, it's like the same in English, but just without the vowels noise. So, like for example, and the consonants consonants also only have like one reading, if I'm not mistaken, from what I've seen. Um, there might be a few exceptions, but they still usually stick with just one reading. But but anyways, so to learn like hiragana, katakana, and kanji. Like those, like memorizing the brush strokes and the letters are different, but the vowels and pronunciations are pretty much another major focus. Uh, when you see a letter, uh, chances are it's paired. There's always there's always a vowel at the end of it. So, for example, if you and I were to, like, there's there's five letters. There's A, I, O, U, and E. But how you pronounce it is uh, so. Like for example, if you have A, it would be Ah, like as in father. If you have E. It's like tree, the long e. If you see an, or uh, I'm sorry, an i. Sorry, if you see an i, it's e. If you see an, you know, if you see another e though, like one e, then it's a, like pen. If you see a u, it's u, like o o, like in Jupiter. And if you see an o, it's just like ho, like as in hope, like o, like o h. So, you know, essentially what I'm trying to say is, so it's A, O, U, A, and U. So, you know, hopefully that kind of clarifies it just a tad bit better. Because, again, if you actually read Japanese, the biggest thing that really gives a lot of people an advantage, and the one thing that really confuses people is two things. One, they've just never seen the language before, so they don't know where to start and then they just don't know how to pronounce it but again both are easy once you have pretty much figured out that puzzle and I'm telling you for a fact that you know Japanese is a lot easier to understand than English the only reason why a lot of people struggle with Japanese is because there's a lot more to it so eventually it, like in English it, it can be a little bit more confusing as far as grammar laws and and pretty much um, you know just like so many different meanings that you have to you know, like kind of know it from experience to know what works but in Japanese though it's just it's shorter pretty straight to the point but there's it's just ten times longer or something like that and still you know you just gotta take shortcuts abbreviate it and you'll be fine but for the most part though it's it's really just a lot more works what it is but you you'll learn it though in the end if you dedicate yourself enough to it